AP Calculus, AB, Related Rates Problems. This is the funnel problem. It says a small funnel in the shape of a cone is being emptied of fluid at a rate of 12 cubic centimeters per second. The tip of the cone, which is downward, um, the height of the cone is 20 centimeters and the radius is 4 centimeters. How fast is the fluid dropping from dropping when the level stands 5 centimeters above the vertex of the cone? So this is what I'm going to do here. This is crazy. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw this cone. It's a good looking cone. So there's my cone. And I'm going to just give you some of the information they're giving me. First, it's a funnel. This cone is a funnel, so it's upside down this way. And, and I know that they're saying that the height, right, from here to here, that height is 20 centimeters. And we're also told that the radius from so here to here is four centimeters. So that gives us something to look at. And then we're also, right, there, we know there's fluid in here somewhere, and I'm gonna let my the fluid be level. So I see other people, they do this, and they have little waves. Well, mine doesn't have a, it's not a wave. Uh, you know what, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. So it has this fluid in it. Right. And the level of the fluid is decreasing. Deal? So here we go. So this is what we know here. The way I'm looking at this is like similar triangles. So look, I don't know if you can see. Like here's a triangle I'm looking at here. Right? And then the other triangle I'm looking at is here. You see them? And what we're saying is that we have this ratio that the radius of the top... Compared to the radius of the of the liquid level, so here's the liquid level right here, isn't it? Is the same as the overall height as is the same ratio as the overall height compared to the height of the water, right? So height of fluid, I guess, liquid fluid, whatever. So I'm going to fill in the stuff I know. The radius of the top is 4. The radius of the liquid is I'm not sure of. The overall height is 20, isn't it? And the height of the fluid is also unknown. So from here, it gets a little bit confusing because I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, where am I going to go with this? So what I did was I went back to the problem. I just read it one more time. And I'm like, what is it that you want to know? And it says, how fast is the fluid level? So that's height, the fluid level. So the other thing I know is that this is conical. Right? So we have the volume is equal to one third pi r squared h. But remember, this is a height question, right? They want to know about the change in height. So as I look at this, I'm like, you know what? I want height. So I don't want radius, I want this in terms of height. So I'm going to actually go back and just do a little solving here and get it and do my math this way. So I'm going to cross multiply here. I'm going to get 4H is equal to 20 over R, isn't it? I'm sorry, 20R. Sorry, 20R, isn't it? And that R, right? I'm going to divide both sides and get that R is equal to 4, sorry, it's not equal to 4, it's equal, is it equal to, it's equal to H fifths, right? It's equal to h fifths, and that's just a tiny bit of algebra there, so you can check that math. So what am I going to do with that? I'm going to go back here, and it says here that I'm just going to plug this in here. I'm just trying to clean this joint up my, for myself and say that r, which is there, is this, isn't it? So this thing is r, right? So I'm going to go and I'm going to plug that value in for r and get volume is equal to one-third pi h over 5, because that's r, right, squared times h. I'm going to keep doing some algebra here, if you don't mind, and get that 1 third pi h squared over 5 times h. And if you don't mind, that's h thirds here, isn't it? h thirds, right? If I multiply this whole thing, I get, I get that over 15, is that what I get? Oh, I got to be careful. Wow. See what I did there? I did. Wow. Okay. 
maybe you caught that. What I was supposed to do is bring this into here and to here. I was looking at it, I was like, well, that's kind of weird. So remember that exponents are distributive over, over multiplication and division. So I'm going to do that. So 5 squared is 25, isn't it? I think that's a lot better looking math. So, and I'm just going to keep cleaning this up. Volume equals pi h cubed over 25, isn't it? So now I have this whole thing in terms of height. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate, I'm going to differentiate this volume. I'm going to differentiate this volume here. So I'm going to so I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to time, and it will be, so with regard to time is equal to 3 pi squared over, and look, 3 times 25 is 75. I'm looking for this thing to work out. 75, isn't it? So far, so good. So we're almost done. I hope you're, you're still with me. All I'm really doing here is just trying to get this thing in some form. We know that, right, they want to know what happens when the height is 5. So when the height is 5. And we know that dv dt, right, that dv dt uh, is negative 12 centimeters per second because they that was a value that they gave us. So negative 12 centimeters, I'm just going to put negative 12, is equal to, and 3 of this is pi h squared over 25, isn't it? I'm just simplifying this crap out as I go. Also know that h is 5 because they ask us what's the rate when the height is of the, of the liquid is 5. So 5 squared is 25, so 25 over 25. Oh, this should be dhdt, right? dhdt, that's where I, where I lost it. My dhdt here, because I have to take the derivative of this thing, the inside derivative here is that. Right, so dh dt, and 25 over 25 is 1, so hopefully you're seeing this, so pi, divide both sides by pi, we get negative 12 over pi is dh dt, so what rate is the height changing as time changes? Well, when height is 5, it's changing at a rate of negative 12 over pi. Um, I hope that was helpful, I feel like rush really rush through that uh, love to hear your comments and yeah let me hear your comments